So Meta recently released a bunch of new cool products. So in this video, I'm going to walk to a step by step on how to make uh, segmenting in the video using this uh, Vision AI. So it's basically going to be the ability to select a specific object in a video and then be able to track it and then you can manipulate it or add additional animations to it uh, based on your selections. So you basically select the object that you want to track and then you can add different cool animations. So we'll check out different ways to change a specific arts object inside a video using this tool. And then also we're going to check out animated drawing. So I'm going to go ahead and create my own little stick figure here using ChatGPT. Uh, and then we'll use this animated drawing tool by Meta Studio uh, to animate our stick drawing that you can use basically to tell any kind of stories, whether it's through YouTube videos or even some kind of a classroom situation. Um, and then also the third thing that we're going to check out is the Imagine Me feature uh, that's released for Instagram and then also in the Messenger app. Uh, so Mark Zuckerberg did a demo here. Let me just put this here. Here's the demo. So we can actually create our own Imagine Me profile um, and our own different characters using this new feature that's available in Instagram and Messenger app. The latest update to Meta AI. It basically lets you generate images of yourself in any style and doing anything that you want. Let's check this out because I need a new profile pic. All right, so you take a few photos of yourself, then you wait for it to upload, and then you can enter whatever prompt you want. Imagine me as a gladiator. It's kind of cool. Let's see what it comes up with. <laughs> That's pretty funny. The hair's a little straight, but other than that, the body is about accurate. <laughs> All right, so that's a cool little um, tool that Meta has released into Instagram and Messenger. I'm going to actually walk you step by step on how to upload your own selfie and then use the Imagine Me feature because there's a few things that I need to point out because I've been playing around with it for a little bit. There are a few limitations and a few ways to prompt that will give you the best results. So let's go check it out. Okay, so first, let's go ahead and try this segment anything in a video. So the first thing you need to do is come to AIdemos.meta.com. Uh, and then there's several new tools that they release. There's two tools for uh, audio. So this seamless translation and then uh, audio box. These are both language AI. And then there's two products, the animated drawings and then the vision AI. You can check out the audio AI yourself, but I just want to go through this segment and animated drawings because this is really, really cool. Actually, and the fact that it's free is amazing. All right. So what you will do is actually click on this. Uh, try it now. And it's going to take you to this page. And then again, you'll click on try it now again. I'm going to move this one. So now immediately it takes you to this video. I mean, you can utilize this video or you, they have a bunch of other videos that you can select. So if you come in the bottom left corner here, you can click on change video. So they have all these videos that you can try out this product or you can upload your own video. So um, feel free to go ahead and check that out and try uploading your own video because there's a lot of different utilities and a lot of different use cases for this particular tool. But let's go ahead and try this dog one. So I'm going to click on that video and it's going to load the demo. And then now it's going to ask you to click an object in the video to start tracking. So you can actually uh, track multiple objects. So for example, if I want to track this ball and track this dog, you can actually select both of them and it will track both of the objects and you can actually change um, just let it load here for a second you can actually change both the objects or add animation to it but I'm gonna actually just select the ball here So if I click on the ball it will automatically select it and again if you see that the selection is missing then you can uh, add a click on other places it will do a better job of selecting so once you click on that object that you want to track you'll come here and click on track objects. So this is going to go through the length of the whole video, which is only a couple of seconds. And then it will say ready to go basically to uh, start manipulating this or adding animations. So once that's done, you're just going to click on next. All right. So here are the different effects that you can add here. So there's the selected object. You can add an effect on the selected object or you can add an effect in the background. Obviously, this is a combination of both of them. So to try a few things and again, feel free to change because there's lots of changes you can do here. Or you can just actually click on surprise me here and it'll give you different combinations. So if I click on surprise right now, it's using this burst uh, for the selected object animation and it's using this uh, desaturate for uh, the background. And again, you can actually click on the selected objects. So as you can see here, it's very small, but it says three out of four and then one out of three. So you can keep manipulating this. So if I keep click on that one, it will change the different um, animation options that's available for that. That's a cool one, actually. And the same thing, if you click on a desaturate, it will keep changing that 
um, till you uh, like whatever you look at. And then also, again, like you can try different gradients, you can try these different options that's there, right? So you can even erase the everything but that object. Um, and then again, like I said, I kind of like the surprise me because this shows you different options. And then also, obviously, you can add these big fonts in there. Um, and then here's another cool one. It's kind of pixelation. So let's say if you're shooting a video and if you want to pixelate a face, this is actually very cool too, because now you can use this for free, right? And you have different pixelated options. So if you just click on pixelate again, it will show you a different pixelation. So the squares are bigger now. This one, the squares are very, very small. And again, you can actually add a background to it. So if you want to click on this, it will change the background. It will change the coloring of the background. Uh, so there's lots of really cool uh, options available. You can also even blur the background. Um, you can add text, obviously. You can outline. Um, so there's a lot of uh, really cool options here. Um, and you can actually even make that object that you have selected as an emoji. Um, they have different emojis available. Um, <laughs> yeah so you can yeah so there's like different again like i i like kind of keeping click, clicking on this surprise me because this shows the different combinations that are already pre pre uh, pre-selected uh this is kind of cool one because this um selects the background as desaturate and then it keeps the selected object as its original um you can let's see you can even blur the background and again you can click on blur again it will show you the different uh options of blurring so this one completely removes the entire video or at least completely uh blurs the entire video besides the selected object within this case is the ball but anyways yeah so again there's like lots of really cool options check that out it's fun to play with i would suggest uploading your own video too because that will give you a a, a good good op uh, idea of how, what this tool can do anyway so that's the segmenting uh so now let's go check out the animated drawings so if you just come again back at the ai demos.meta.com click on try it this will take you to this place same thing you can click on try it it'll just tell, give you terms of acceptance terms and conditions so here i can add my own or i can select these existing um drawings that they have but if you want to click create your own what i what i found out was actually i just copied this checklist and this um instruction here and i went to chat gpt yes i went to chat gpt and i basically uh, put a prompt saying create a drawing of one character where the arms and legs don't overlap the body so this is coming directly from that checklist and i also did a screenshot of these examples so i said see examples and it created this little uh, cute little character for me and again you can keep changing the different prompt however you like but i basically then screenshotted this one and brought it to um this pixelated area and as you can see, right, whoops, um, as you can see, I can add this. So now instead of this, I can actually upload my own from the screenshot. And as you can see right now, that's updated, uploaded. And I'm going to click on next. And this will scan uh, to make sure it finds the character. So this shows you here that, hey, you, you can resize if you don't like the selection. So I'm just going to maybe do this a little bit. But this looks good. So let's just go ahead and move forward because the selection uh, contains the entire image and the same thing here this is highlighting the character so now it says we have separated the character from the background and highlighted it so you want to make sure that all of the spots as you can see in the uh, around the image itself there's these highlights so if you want to remove a particular section then you can do so so for example i don't want this bottom thing to be show shown up there so i'm just going to use this little eraser and just come and erase this see if that's going to work Okay, I mean, it kind of took the shoes as well. You can come and adjust this. See, you can adjust this with this pen. So with the pen, you can select the spots that was done by mistake. That looks good. So I'm just gonna click on next. As you can see, it did the selection. So now it says mark the character join. So you wanna make sure that these little things that are, you can see it's extending. So if your character, has long arms you want to make sure it extends all the way to cover the arm itself you can move the joints because these joints are what kind of what's going to create the the motion that will apply in a little bit so you want to make sure all the joints are covered here and it says that the checklist here that your current if your character doesn't have any arms drag the elbows and wrist joints far away from the character so it could still be animated meaning that if 
if let's say you have a character that you generated that, that, that has no arms or legs you want to make sure that you extend it far out so that way uh, your animation comes strong but right now i'm just going to keep this because this little character has arms i'm going to click on next so now it's going to animate my character there you go so now you can select from these different animations there's dance funny jumping walking um and there's actually i mean like i said this is really cool the fact that it's free you can add characters. I mean, it's kind of weird because, again, I didn't do a good job of selecting the different joints. But as you can see, it's adding those those uh, animations based on the joints that we selected. Um, and there's lots of d different animation options that are available. So, yeah. So go ahead. Feel free to check that out. Play around with the character. Play around with generating your own uh, little characters with ChatGPT, and I did a bunch. It's really cool, actually. You can um, do a really good job of, let's say, if you're telling a story or whatever it may be, you can utilize this tool to make your stories come to life. And you could always share this. You can actually download this. So once you download this, you can actually share this as an animated video. All right, cool. So that was that. So now let's check out this um, Meta's new Imagine Me. So let me get rid of this. And I'll come to my phone, actually. All right, so right now, my Messenger app, you can actually also use the Instagram app if you like. Uh, but I already did that, so I want to go through this again to set it up from scratch so that way you know how to do it because I know it's a little bit tricky. So what I'm going to do is whether you're, whether you're an Instagram app or your Messenger app, send yourself a message, a direct message, because obviously you don't want to send this to somebody else as you're testing this feature out. But anyway, so right now I'm sending a message to myself. Um, so what I'm going to do is right here, I'm going to come and click on add. And as soon as I, uh, sorry, add signal, uh, add uh, character. As soon as I do this, you can see now these commands open up, right? So the first one, so now obviously because we're interacting with Meta AI, so we're going to select this imagine. So if I click on imagine, now it's going to give you that introduction that, hey, imagine uh, introducing Meta in chat. So blah, blah, blah. Anyways, that's not important. So now what I'm going to do is say, Imagine me as a gladiator. So again, you're going to type this in because this is going to be your first time. Now it's going to actually ask you to set up um, your selfie in order to, um, you know, utilize this, um, this feature. So I'm going to go ahead and click on get started. As soon as you get started, click on get started. So now it's going to, you're going to allow Meta to use the camera. So I'm going to say allow. So now, as you can see right here, so let me get rid of this, get rid of this headphone. So now you're gonna take just a bunch of, so now you're gonna take a bunch of selfies. So it's gonna tell you to move closer or move far. So this is good, take photo, so I took photo one. This says turn slightly to the right. So I'm gonna turn slightly to the right and take a photo. And now it says turn slightly to the left. So I'm going to turn slightly to the left and take a photo. Pretty much it. So now it uploaded all of my photos. And now I'm going to go ahead and click OK. All right, great. So now we're pretty much done. So, okay, so now I'm going to do is again, same thing. I'm going to go and say at. And as soon as, as soon as I do this, this is going to pop up again. I'm going to click on imagine. So now you can say imagine me as a gladiator. I can type there you go so now you're gonna send this one weird thing is you know it, it does take a little bit of time but sometimes this little working the three dot disappears like this one but just be patient it's working on it <laughs> there you go that's a weird one but hey um, so yeah so just make sure you're doing a good job of um, uploading your selfies because otherwise it's gonna come weird so I'm gonna try again imagine me I'm going to say, imagine me as an astronaut. Okay, let's see what that comes up with. There is a few limitations here that I'm going to point out in a little bit because things like, I mean, that's a good one, actually. I don't know why my eyes are so weird. Maybe I didn't do a good job of uploading my uh, selfie. But anyway, so make sure, yeah, make sure you're doing a good job there. So otherwise the photo might come a little weird, but you, obviously you can always edit it and you can always download these. But let me go ahead and try something else. So here's the limitation. If I say, imagine, oops, first of all, I'll do this. 
I say imagine me at the beach shirtless I did this last time for some reason it didn't work it um, it gave me like a weird response that they can't they can't do it oh there you go see oops I can't generate the image but can I help you imagine something else so it's very limited I guess it's pretty gated so you have you but there's obviously there's there's workarounds around this so the the way to do this and you can see again these are like the, the weird things with the AI that you, there's always like workarounds just depends on what kind of a prompt you put in so if you just say imagine me at the beach with six packs I think this is gonna work because now I am for some reason words like shirtless or if you try to add other like people in there it's not gonna work but as you can see this works <laughs> that's actually pretty nice it's a good photo anyways all right so now again same thing you can download this and keep it in your phone and utilize it then you can use other products to edit this um, but as you can see you can really play around and create really cool characters um, in this and the fact that this is free is amazing anyways all right so that's that okay cool so yeah again these are really good cool products try out this language as well this design this is kind of cool too because you get to um, actually upload your own like video and audio and it will show you exactly what you will sound like in a different language like Spanish French German so that's a cool little product too but anyways you can check that out on your own let me know what you think in the comments below if you try it if you find something really cool that I haven't thought of or haven't seen um, let me know again let's share it so that way I can try it out as well hopefully you found this helpful I'll see you in the next one